Danny, and today I'm here with a video in partnership with Sally Beauty. Today I'm going to show you guys how I do my Sally Spring Upgrade. And what that simply means is refreshed makeup for spring. It's hard. Springtime is hard, you guys, because you're going from really harsh cold months into not so harsh and cold. It's still cold, but sometimes it's warm. It's a little confusing. So how do I like to refresh my makeup to feel like it's seasonally appropriate and just make me feel like I'm closer to summer. One of the easiest ways is to lighten your hair, as you can tell. Um, but one of the ways that I like to incorporate more of like a springtime feel into my makeup looks is by adding a lot more illuminating products. So I will mix an illuminating primer or a liquid illuminator into my base product. I will use lighter foundation type products like a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream. And I will also layer on a lot of highlighter like you can tell. One of the easiest ways to add spring into your springtime makeup looks is by adding a pop of color. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get this makeup using all beauty products from Sally Beauty. All of these products will be listed and linked in the description box below. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is tie my hair back. And these are some of my favorite clips from Sally Beauty. Um, these are good if you have very thin hair or very thick hair because they kind of adjust to the thickness of your hair. See how cool that is? It's like a crocodile. <laughs> of course, base products are first, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but my panda eyes are extra on fire recently, and I also have some inhabitants on my skin. I don't know what it is, you guys, but my skin has been hating its life lately. So what I'm gonna do is go in with the shade Tan Honey of the Collab's No Flaws Cream Concealer. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, and I'm going to take a synthetic brush and a little bit of that product, and that's gonna go on my panda eyes. Because I'm gonna go in with a very light foundation type product, which I'll show you in a second, I do wanna make sure that I conceal if I have any other blemishes, but I wanna make sure that I use the appropriate shade. So I'm gonna use the same type of concealer, but in the shade Sand Beige, or 3-4, and I'm going to apply that to any area that I want any additional coverage. So if I have any sort of like discoloration or a blemish, like I was telling you guys over here, then I'm going to apply that extra layer of coverage so it looks like my skin is flawless this springtime. Now, ordinarily, when it comes down to spring and summer, I'm not a big foundation user. I will go in with a thicker concealer like this one, and I will spot conceal just like you saw me do, and then go in with a translucent powder, and that will be my foundation for the day. I like to keep it light and airy and breathable, and if it kind of wears away, then we're good. But I'm gonna show you guys a really cool trick to make your skin look healthy, glowy, and totally fit the part of this luminizing trend that's going around right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take the Collab Oh So Fresh Skin Tint. This is a really light coverage BB cream, and I'm gonna mix it with the Collab The Filter. This is a liquid illuminator, which I like to use on my legs. You can mix it into foundations. You can apply it as a face primer. So it's a very multi-use product. I feel like a lot of times when you see the size of this bottle, you're like, it's gonna take me a year to get through that much product. However, it's really, really convenient because like I said, mix it into your favorite body butter, apply it to like your collarbone era. You could use it as a liquid highlighter. You could mix it into foundation products. There's so many things you could do with it. It's really, really, really multi-purpose and they have so many different shades. So you're gonna find one that you feel the most comfortable with. My favorite is actually Spark My Interest. This one kind of looks like if it was a cool tone, almost pearlescent pink, but it actually has almost like a beige base and a gold reflect to it. So if you have golden undertones, it really helps bring them out and make you look a lot more glowy and tan. And then I'm gonna mix it with Sand Beige or 3-4 in the skin tint. I'm such a fan of the Oh So Fresh skin tint from Collab because it is lightweight, but it does actually cover. I feel like some BB creams or skin tints have a really bad reputation, like, oh, they don't cover at all. They don't, they don't really do anything. But this one actually covers really Really well you could see it evened out my skin tone perfectly and that was even with diluting it with some luminizer anyway so now we're gonna highlight and in order to highlight I'm gonna use a lighter concealer this is in the shade ivory sand or 23 so it's a shade lighter that I should be using but I just use a little bit to kind of brighten up this area you certainly don't have to and then we're gonna go in with a setting powder 
which again, if you want the glowy look, you could actually just leave it alone like this and spray it with a setting spray and you'll have more of a dewy look but I like my makeup to last all day. If I'm gonna invest an hour in front of a makeup vanity applying my face, I wanna make sure it lasts all day, especially in the spring and summer when I'm looking for any excuse to be sitting outside. So I'm going to stack the deck and add a translucent powder. And the one that I'm using is from Palladio, and this is the translucent rice powder. It comes with a cute little puff. Isn't that adorable? It has the cutest packaging, and it actually is translucent. I really like using that powder. So we're gonna go in with concealer, and then we'll set everything with our translucent powder. Okay, now we're gonna do our brows and I'm just gonna lightly fill them in and I always say lightly, but I don't mean that because I don't have a light hand. With the collab, this is like an all collab beauty tutorial. <laughs> the collab shape and shade ultra fine brow pencil and I'm in the shade taupe. I love this pencil. From all the collab products, I would say this brow pencil and the mascara are my absolute favorites. They're such awesome, drugstore alternatives to other luxury products that are already out there and you don't need to spend that much money to get a really high quality amazing product. Like I said, I'm in the shade taupe. I love the really super ultra fine tip because I don't have a light hand and so if I were to go in with a bigger or wider pencil, my brows would be looking everything except natural. And with this one, it's very easy to control how much product you're gonna apply. All right, so our brows are done and one of the easiest ways to refresh our spring makeup is to add a pop of color. So what you guys would do is do your normal, I know you guys have your everyday natural browns or neutral browns look, whether it's cool tone browns or like taupey browns or your warm browns, and then we're gonna do a pop of color on the lower lash line. You could also do it on the lid, but I feel like when you do it on the lower lash line, you have a little bit more control of how much color you actually wanna use. So I'm gonna use two eyeshadow palettes from Palladio. Um, they are the Island Vibes palettes super cute right so we have sandbar and this is the one that's gonna have all our naturals or neutrals or nudie browns that we're gonna use for our total eye look and then we have the other island vibes and this one is called paradise and it has all our pop of colors so whether we want to do like a really beautiful garnet a really pretty bronze if we want to do like a turquoise or maybe like a light lavender I actually am kind of a sucker for like a purple on the lower lash line I love how it looks especially around like springtime like Easter time it just looks so soft and romantic especially if you guys have brown eyes so like always I'm going to apply a little bit of extra loose powder underneath my eyes. So in case I have any fallout from the eyeshadow or I apply too much color, you know, I don't wanna mess up all the hard work that I already did on my face. So we're gonna go in with several eyeshadow brushes and you guys know the routine. I always do a brow bone highlight. I do a transition shade, a lid shade, a little bit of something something to deepen the outer V or like the outer third of my eyelid. And then we're gonna do a really fun pop of color on the lower lash line. Okay, so the top portion of our eye was super easy, right? Now I'm gonna go in with a purple pencil. This is from Collab in the shade Fearless and it's their Bold Face Liner. And I'm gonna apply this as a base because I could totally go in with this really beautiful light purple lavender shade, but it's not gonna pop. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a pop of color. The easiest way to bring springtime to your makeup is a really, really light base, glowy, fresh, bright skin, and then a nice 
pop of color, something that's bright and happy. I'm kind of a fan of dramatic lashes. I don't care if it's spring, if it's daytime or nighttime, I really, really love dramatic lashes. I had this conversation with one of my best friends the other day. I said, I could go out bare faced, but if I just apply one coat of mascara, it's gonna change the way my face looks entirely. So with that said, even though this is a fresh springtime look, I do wanna add some eyeliner, and I'm going to apply a brown liner on the tight line. So right underneath the lashes is where I'm gonna apply a brown liner, and then I'm gonna go back in with the purple Fearless pencil, and I'm gonna apply that or reapply it to the waterline. After that, we're gonna go in with um, my High Rise Insane Length Mascara. This is the lengthening mascara from Collab, but I'm gonna have to say that I feel like it was totally improperly named because it is length and volume all in one. One coat, it gives you daytime, everyday, beautiful black lashes. Very long, very separate. If you keep layering it, you guys, you get intense, black, super voluminous, long, crazy lashes. It's one of my favorite mascaras ever. It's amazing. Okay, now we're gonna fake some cheekbones and we're gonna use the Collab Sun Obsession Sculpting Bronzer in Intoxicating. There are several shades of this bronzer. I just prefer Intoxicating because it's one of those that I could use as a bronzer or a contour powder, multi-purpose. Can we talk about these lashes? Isn't that insane? It's literally the best mascara ever, you guys. What a difference a little bronzer makes, right? Look at that. It's like, what? where did this bone structure come from? Oh, let me tell you, from this bronzer. <laughs> then we're gonna go in with a really glowy blush. This is the Sheer Blush from Collab in First Base. Look at how pretty that is. Yes, it's as glowy and majestic as it looks. It's so good, you guys. It looks a little bit deeper in the uh, pan, but once you apply it, it's very, very sheer. So you could really apply a heavy dose. Okay, not, not this heavy. You could really go to town with it, and it's just gonna give you a really radiant, glowy, healthy, healthy, rosy look to your cheeks. And one of my favorite products at the moment, you guys are gonna faint when you see it. This is the Palladio I'm Glowing Highlighting Palette. It is as soft and creamy and delicious as it looks, you guys. It is insane. This is one of those products that I will take a big fluffy brush and just apply everywhere, especially if I'm wearing like a little bit more of a type shirt, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a really good product. If you don't wanna go like the cream or liquid alternative or route, this is a really good option. This palette, and this palette has you covered through the seasons. You have the lightest shade in the middle, which is good for like winter, right? Fall and winter. Then you have this really beautiful pink, which is a really great option to kind of soften blushes. Like if you have a blush that's a little too intense and you wanna just make it a little bit more fun, you have this really beautiful pink. I actually use it as a highlighter alone. It's really beautiful. And then come summer when you're nice and bronzy and glowy and sun-kissed, this one up here, holy mackerel. Do you see that? Oh, look at this one in the middle. I think that's the one we're gonna use today. And then the pink one, aren't those stunning? Can I just apply all three? It could be like bronzer, blush, and highlight, but they're all three highlighters. <laughs> guys have to be really gentle when applying them, and I'm using that facetiously, you guys, because you know I'm not gentle with anything, and I apply highlighter. If I could pour highlighter on me, I would. So I'm just gonna take a small brush, the one in the middle, apply that, to the most important part of my face. <laughs> and then anywhere else you need highlighter. <laughs> three, 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 two, one. One of my favorite ways to brighten up a springtime look or to just make my look a little bit more fresh and bright is taking my pinky finger and a little bit of this highlighter and we're gonna apply just a pop of it, right? <laughs> or that much of it, right underneath uh, the brow, right on the brow bone, just the littlest bit. So we're gonna attract light to that part of our face. And then the same thing on the inner corner of the eye. You could use a really small brush. I just feel like I have more control when I use my pinky finger. You know, if I have extra, I could always just like kind of blend it out a little bit. I think we forgot a little bit highlighter. I think we need a little bit more highlighter on my nose. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna move on to lips. And for lips, I always like to go in with whatever beauty sponge or powder brush I used for um, my face. 
and I like to apply a really light layer of whatever's left over. I feel like it prolongs the wear of my lip product. I'm gonna go with the Palladia Waterproof Pencil in Sand. You guys, these are super mega crazy long wearing. They're so awesome and they're really creamy and retractable. So they're so easy to use. Then I'm gonna go in with the Collab Full Body Lipstick in Really? Um, and apply that all over my lips. These collab lipsticks are actually really great, especially if you guys have texture on your lips, because even though they're satin and matte finishes, they don't sink into the fine lines and they don't emphasize any sort of texture that you have on your lips. So they're very comfortable, long wearing, and they don't um, dry out your lips, which is key, especially with like this transition weather. You know what I mean? Like it's still cold sometimes, it's still hot. And so your temperature is like up and down, up and down, and the skin on your lips is so sensitive that they get chapped so easy. This lipstick doesn't dry out your lips. Now we're gonna do something that's a little maybe uh, out of your element or out of your comfort zone, but I thought we would tie in the entire glowy skin, luminizer, highlighter, springtime fun into our lip color as well. So I'm gonna take some of the filter highlighter liquid in Spark My Interest, the same one that we used on our skin, just the littlest bit on my ring finger and not as much as you pump out. I mean, you wanna start off with the littlest bit first. This is gonna serve almost like a lip gloss. However, you're not gonna apply that much. In fact, you're just going to sort of convert the color of your lipstick. So did you see how we took a deep, dusty, mauve rose into a happier, almost like a nude, mauve dusty, light rose? <laughs> How many colors can I combine into this lip color? Let's see, challenge accepted. But I did concentrate the highlighting liquid to the center portion of my lips, just to draw light to that area, also to make my lips look fuller. Not that I need that help, but if you guys are on the smaller lip size, you wanna overdraw your lips just a little bit, and then concentrate the highlighting liquid towards the middle, and it's going to add a little bit more juiciness or glow to that portion of your mouth. So what do you think guys? Super easy, right? Um, all of these products that I used are available at your local Sally Beauty or the Sally Beauty website. I will list and link them in the description box below along with the shades that I used. Let's talk about spring for a second. The easiest way to refresh your makeup is by using a lighter coverage foundation, by adding a lot more light to your makeup looks, whether it's a liquid illuminator or a powder highlight, any way of incorporating more light into your makeup looks, including a lighter foundation, um, or adding a fun pop of color to the lower lash line. Super easy, you guys. You know, we keep it very simple around here. Why don't you guys head over to the comment section below and let me know which of these Sally Beauty makeup products you're most excited about trying or which you've already tried and are already a fan of. Anyway, like always, you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.